every pregnant woman wants to enjoy her pregnancy, to sail through it doing fun things like bonding with her bump or going out shopping to buy cute things for her baby. But sometimes nature has other plans. Now I think every woman who's pregnant needs to know about a condition called preeclampsia because it is so important. It's linked with high blood pressure and with protein in the urine. Preeclampsia is caused by a problem with the placenta. It affects something like 70,000 women a year in the UK and the end result can be a small sickly baby or tragically sometimes even stillbirth. It also affects the mother and it kills up to 10 or so women a year and kills something like a thousand babies a year. I did say it was important. Nobody can predict exactly who will get preeclampsia but some women are more likely to develop it. If you're over 40 when you're pregnant, if you're very overweight, if you're carrying twins, all those factors are important. If you've already got high blood pressure or perhaps kidney disease, then again, you're more likely to develop preeclampsia. If you've had it once already, that's important too. And if it's a family history, if your mum, one of your sisters had it, that can raise your own risk. So ask the older generation, ask your mum, remember to ask if she had toxemia because in the olden days that was the name for preeclampsia. If you've had recurrent miscarriages, again that increases the risk of preeclampsia, especially if you've been diagnosed with a condition called antiphospholipid syndrome. And if that's the case, in this pregnancy you should see a specialist and they may give you a small tablet, daily tablet, to preempt the onset of preeclampsia. So all those things are important to know about. As I said, you can't tell who will get it and that's the whole point of regular antenatal checks. That's the whole point of checking the blood pressure and testing the urine for protein every time. Preeclampsia develops usually in, the late, in late pregnancy, never before 20 weeks. Um, so you do get more frequent checks later in the pregnancy. But in fact, the condition can develop between appointments. In as little as two weeks, it can go from zero to a life-threatening crisis. And that's exactly why you need to know the symptoms. The kind of thing to look out for, severe headache with or without vomiting, visual symptoms like blurred vision or flashing lights, severe abdominal pain, upper abdominal pain this is, usually under the ribs and usually on the right, but it could be anywhere in the upper part of the stomach, and sudden severe swelling, especially the hands and the face. Everybody gets some swelling during pregnancy, but what I mean is severe swelling, not just a little bit of tightness um, of the fingers so you can't get your rings off. And another thing, it can affect the baby first before it gives you symptoms. So if your baby's not kicking as much as usual, that can also be one of the symptoms. If you get any of these things, see your midwife or your GP without delay and make sure it gets taken seriously. Make sure your blood pressure is taken and your urine checked. I hope this has been useful for you. If you want more information, go to APEC, the preeclampsia charity on apec.org.uk.